Welcome to ETA Pro. The subject for today is power plant engine inspection. This channel helps provide guidance to aircraft maintenance technicians, AMTs, who wants to become familiar with the requirements and to successfully obtain an FAA airframe and power plant certificate. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell notification for future videos. Let's get started. You are performing a 100 hour inspection on an R985-22 aircraft engine. What does the 985 indicate? It indicates the total piston displacement of the engine. A ground incident that results in propeller sudden stoppage would require a crankshaft runout inspection. What publication will be used to obtain crankshaft runout tolerance? Current manufacturer's maintenance instructions. Which of the following conditions is usually not acceptable to any extent in turbine blades? Cracks. One, airworthiness directives are federal aviation regulation and must be complied with unless specific exemptions are granted. Two, airworthiness directive of an emergency nature may require immediate compliance upon receipt. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are truth. A Cessna 180 aircraft has a McConley propeller model number 2A34 Charlie 5090 Alpha. The propeller is severely damaged in a ground accident. In this model, propeller is not available for replacement. Which of the following should be used to find an approved alternate replacement? Aircraft specification and type certificate data sheets. What maintenance records it's or are required following a major repair of an aircraft engine? Entries in the engine maintenance records and FAA form 337. Select the airworthiness directive applicability statement which applies to an IVO-355 engine with serial number T8164 with 2100 hours total time and 300 hours since rebuilding. Applies to all IVO-355 engines, serial numbers T8000 through T8300, having less than 2400 hours total time. Which of the following contains approved data for performing a major repair to an aircraft engine? Manufacturer's maintenance instructions when FAA approved. Where would one find type design information for an R1830-92 engine certificated under the Civil Air Regulation and installed on a DC-3? The aircraft engine specifications. What section in the instructions for continued airworthiness is FAA approved? Airworthiness limitations section. Each power plant installed on an airplane with a standard airworthiness certificate must have been type certificated. Which of the following is used to monitor the mechanical integrity of the turbines, as well as to check engine operating conditions of a turbine engine? Exhaust gas temperature. How is the flow range of the fuel discharge and also installing a fuel injected reciprocating engine indicated? By a letter stamp on the hex of the nozzle body. Indentations on bearing races caused by high static loads are known as brylin. Straightening nitrate crankshaft is not recommended. Which of the following component inspection is to be accomplished on a 100 hour inspection? Check cylinder compression. One, serviceability limits for turbine blades are much more stringent than are those for turbine nozzle veins. Two, a limited number of small necks and dents can usually be permitted in any area of a turbine blade. Regarding the above statements, only number one is true. The breaking loose of a small piece of metal from coated surfaces, usually caused by defective plating or excessive loads, it's called flaking. On a reciprocating engine aircraft using a shrouded exhaust muffler system as a source for cabin heat, 
the exhaust system should be visually inspected for any indication of cracks or operational carbon monoxide detection tests should be done. Which of the following contains a table that lists the engine to which a given propeller is adaptable? The propeller type certificate data sheets. The airworthiness standards for the issuance of the type certificates for small airplanes with nine or less passenger seats in the normal, utility, and acrobatic categories may be found in the Federal Aviation Regulations Part 23. What publication contains the mandatory replacement time for parts of a turbine engine? Engine Manufacturer's Service Instructions. What publication is used for guidance to determine whether a power plant repair is a major or a minor? 14 CFR Part 43. Which of the following can inspect and approve an engine major repair for return to service? Certificated mechanic with inspections authorization. A severe condition of chafing or fretting in which a transfer of metal from one part to another occurs is called gallon. Which of the following contains a minimum checklist for 100 hour inspections of engines? 14 CFR Part 43 Appendix D. When inspecting an aircraft reciprocating engine, what document is used to determine if the proper magnetos are installed? Aircraft engine specifications or type certificate data sheets. When must an airworthiness directive be complied with after it becomes effective? As specified in the AD. Determine which portion of the AD is applicable for the model O-690 series engine with serial number 5863-40 with 283 hours time in service. This is the compliance portion of an FAA Air Wilderness Directive. Compliance requires as indicated. A. For model O-69 series engines, serial numbers 101 Dash 40 through 5264 40 and IO 690 series engines, serial numbers 101 48 through 423 48, compliance with C. Require within 25 hours time in service after effective date of this AD and every 100 hours the time in service thereafter. B, for models O-69 series engine, serial number 5265-40 through 6129-40 and IO-690 series engines, serial number 424-48 through 551-48 complies with C, requires as follows. 1. Within 25 hours time in service after an effective date of this AD and every 100 hours time in service thereafter for engines with more than 275 hours time in service on the effective date of this AD. 2. Prior to the accumulation of 300 hours total time in service and every 100 hours time in service thereafter for engines with 275 hours or less time in service on the effective date of this AD. C. Inspect the oil pump drive shaft part number 67512 on applicable engine in accordance with the instructions contained in Cunning Service Bulletin number 295. Any shaft which are found to be damaged shall be replaced before further flights. This inspection will be continued until Cunin part number 67512 redesign or part number 7641 oil pump drive shaft is installed at which time the inspection may be discontinued. 
B1. Hope you found this video informative. Question for you is, what study materials are you using? Share your comments below this video.